Al Rolls is the reporter thrown into the secretive world of the 4X supermodel where nothing is as it seems. Beware the techno monk and steer clear of Professor Coe and his two assistants. Give the senior trader a wide berth and don't expect any sense from the risk manager. Hello, I'm the senior trader at the Forex Supermodel and this is the technical issues series part 5 Trading Forex and Synergy. So uh, let's make a start then. Um, what do we mean by synergy? Well, uh, as far we're going to run you through um, the three basic areas of, of synergy. Um, anyway, starting off, the, the general the general approach of, of synergy is that is that when you combine um, different parts of something um, and you assign them certain values that the overall uh, net effect is greater than the sum of parts. So this is, that would be like positive, uh, positive synergy. So, so positive synergy would be where you combine different parts together and if you added those individual parts up, the end result would still be greater than that sum. So they, they liken this to this 2 plus 2 equals 5 principle. <clears throat> so the, the sum of the parts are 4, but you end up with, with 5 um, units, effectively. So uh, that, that's positive synergy. Now, you can have neutral symmetry uh, synergy, uh, which, is, which would be 2 plus 2 equals 4. And you can have negative uh, synergy, <clears throat> which would be two plus two equals three. So, so that's the sort of parameters of, of synergy. Um, now, in business, um, we're going to talk about obviously we're we're in the FX business or forex business, but but in business generally, um, uh, synergy is is often touted as a reason for mergers and acquisitions so uh, so so um, it, which is obviously the joining together of, of constituent parts rather than organic growth which is from within a business or, or organization so so um, businesses uh, particularly when they're, they're trying to uh, uh, justify uh, takeovers um, start talking about positive synergy. Now, the, the reason we're going through the business end of it is because it's related to Forex, but, 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 but basically, um, uh, if you look at the supply chain, and you've got like uh, uh, raw materials at the bottom, uh, manufacturing, Manufacture production, which is basically that, so production, and then you've got uh, end user. I mean, there's, there's many uh, other parts of the chain, wholesale, etc., but we'll just concentrate on that. So, you've got raw materials. Um, now, they tend to link um, synergy to the supply chain and integration, whether it's, uh, so how, how do these constituent parts join together? Now in business, they, they talk about integration is it horizontal, vertical, or uh, a conglomerate? So, um, horizontal integration would be like, say, two similar uh, organisations in the supply chain merging together. So, two supermarkets, 
uh, two production firms, that would be horizontal integration and vertical integration would be um, at different stages of the supply chain. So, um, you know, it might be, uh, I don't know, a supermarket merging with a, a manufacturer of, of food. So that would be, um, uh, and just to finish it off, uh, vertical can be forwards or backwards, depending whether you're going forwards towards the end use, user in the supply chain or backwards towards the raw materials and manufacturing. So, uh, and then a conglomerate uh, integration is unrelated. So that might be a, I don't know, a taxi firm with, with a, uh, a toothpaste manufacturer, seemingly unrelated. So, so that's, um, that's, that's integration that, uh, in a business sense. Now, in a, in a default FX sense, um, what, what we tend to look at is, uh, in Synergy, what the average default rank and file is looking at is, is the alignment of, um, of technical, technical plus fundamental Plus, uh, what was it? Uh, plus um, sentiment. That's right. Sentiment. Now, and this is this is analysis, effectively. So, uh, so what they're saying is that you can achieve a positive synergy in your trading. 2 plus 2 equals 5 if you align technical analysis with fundamental analysis and sentiment uh, analysis. So, um, and if you remember, uh, if you look at our other video on sentiment, expectations on and tone, so uh, look that up and you can uh, get a better grip of what's going on there if you need to. So, sentiments, expectations and tone. So, so technical then, so what they're saying is, is that um, if you pay attention to um, significant technical levels and indicators and you add those to a fundamental uh, stance in the market, so, um, uh, you know, possibly uh, rising, uh, rising data or, or, or the rest of it, um, then, so this would be more um, factual, if you like, and, and that's uh, technical uh, graphs and charts. And then sentiment, maybe you get uh, some helpful comments or uh, unhelpful comments from um, uh, central bankers, so dovish, hawkish. So, so when you add all that together, so supposing you're looking at the euro dollar uh, and, and, uh, and the, the sentiment, <coughs> excuse me, the sentiment from the central bankers has been, uh, is surprisingly dovish, so they're, 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 they're sort of talking the, uh, the euro down perhaps. So supposing you've got dovish sentiment, and then you've got, um, you've got weak data coming out of Germany perhaps, and some other uh, problems in Germany, and the eurozone as a whole is struggling, then that would add into that. And then you've got um, a technical situation which is and this is where it gets a little bit more complicated. Arguably, you could say that the technicals are, are ripe for uh, weakness in the euro. We've either got, uh, a, a, we're either a particularly weak point, or you could say that the market has been, been uh, long the euro dollar and it is therefore going to reverse. So, so technicals. Are, and when you add all those three components together, what they're saying is, is that you get an outsized um, effect on the euro dollar, in this case to the downside. Now, now that's, um, that's the, standard, uh, the standard sort of way of, of looking at synergy in the markets. And, and I'm going to show you what, what we do really, or how we, we look at synergy. Um, so um, we look at in terms of um, the synergy of uh, flows. Synergy uh, of complex flows so what we're looking for is is backdoor flows 
which then become um, front door flows. So, so we're looking at back door, which become front door primary driving flows. So, so for example, um, if we had uh, let's have a look. So, if we had this sort of situation. Um, Right, so we've got, say, dollar, yen, uh, um, euro, pound. And let's suppose the pound was the opposed uh, driver. So we've got uh, a positive rock in the euro, a positive mover in the yen, and a, a, a negative secondary driver in the dollar. So, um, and remember, uh, front door flows would be, would be from the pound, because the pound is negative, uh, positively driving, so there'd be negative front door flows reversing out. And then you've got some uh, uh, back door flows, which are coming from the euro. So they're, they're back, so this is front, and that's back. So you've got you've got this idea of um, an opposed driver giving reverse flows into uh, the other complexes, and you've got front door flows which come from the driver, and uh, back door flows which come from the uh, the rock. In this case, would be the euro. So, so um, what we're looking for is to get to get uh, flow synergy. Um, is is we're looking for a secondary boost. So so we want initially um, our our complex to be receiving backdoor flows as well as front door flows, and then we want the complex to actually start driving the market. So so for example, the dollar was the negative secondary driver, and eventually we want we want the the dollar to be. Um, uh, so we want the we want the dollar we want the dollar to be the, the negative opposed driver um, because it's taken over from the pound and so it's it's opposed by the yen in this case and then ultimately we want we want the dollar to be um, the unopposed negative driver if we're if we're shorting the dollar obviously so. So you get this situation, you get the yen, the euro, and the pound. So we, that, that's, the, uh, that's, that's the jewel in the crown, if you like. We're, so we're starting out, we want the dollar to be, uh, to be um, getting uh, secondary, backdoor, and primary flows. And then we want eventually the dollar uh, to be taking over as the opposed negative driver. And then finally, to uh, really get into fifth gear and uh, be the unopposed negative driver. And obviously, all these are interchangeable. We just picked on the dollar there as a, as a matter of example. But, um, so that's, that's one aspect of what we're looking for. Um, so we're, we're looking at uh, uh, sort of synergy flows which, which mutate, so backdoor flows which mutate into front door flows and ultimately unopposed front door flows. Um, and we also, we're looking for, just rub this out, we're looking for um, transmission flows. So if you look at um, uh, how things transmit through through the uh, uh, economic system, particularly the forex markets. So um, and we've done a, a, a video on um, uh, on risk uh, analysts and risk on risk off. So that explains some of what we're talking about here. So so let's suppose we've got a uh, risk on. So. So if, if we, what we're looking for is, is additional help 
from uh, uh, transmissions which which augment our uh, front and back door flows. So, for example, um, if we've got a risk-on situation, we might have equities uh, equities on the up, um, and the normal yen transmission would be down. So we've got uh, we've got uh, uh, we've got negative uh, flows out of, out of the yen. Um, and then, and then we've got, we've also got dollar weakness. Um, the dollar tends to be sold off in, in, in risk on. Um, and then, you know, this is what we're looking for. So, so we're looking for um, the market to actually help us out here. We're looking for the, the standard uh, uh, transmissions. For example, if people are piling into commodities, it's, it's really risk on. So the AUD, um, the NZD and the CAD are being uh, bid up. This will help to weaken the dollar um, and, and so on and so forth. So we get this like, we get this like augmented transmission which gives us our 2 plus 2 equals 5 synergy. So, so that would be um, what we were looking for. So we've got this, uh, this situation. Now, uh, you know, in, in an extreme situation, if it had been risk off, for example, and we'd had um, uh, repatriation flows into the dollar, uh, which is which is if uh, one of the final stages of, of uh, risk risk off. If we're getting a real market wobble, then then and we were looking to uh, sell the dollar off the off the bounce of this, then then that would be an example of uh, these reverse of these of these uh, risk uh, repatriation flows. So that would be. You know, an example of, of going uh, happening from the other side of things. So, so uh, that that's where we're at. So, so um, yes, we're just about there. So, uh, to sum up, then um, uh, we've looked at we've looked at synergy in terms of uh, uh, in a business sense. Is it uh, from it from its supply chain? Is it vertical? Is it horizontal? Is it conglomerate? Is it forwards backwards? Um, uh, is looking at integration, um, mergers and acquisitions. We then looked at it from a, uh, a forex standard uh, sort of garden P variety, um, where people are looking at uh, will the technical situation augment the uh, fundamental situation, which will be augmented by uh, a change in sentiment or current sentiment in the market. And then we looked at it from our forex supermodel basis, which is which is looking at um, transmissions in terms of uh, front and back door flows are back door flows eventually going to mutate into front door flows and ultimately unopposed driver front door flows and secondly are we going to be on the right side of um, risk on risk off transmissions through the market as other traders um, basically uh, join the party in, the, in, in their conventional sense, for example, buying uh, the AUD, NZD, um, CAD in risk on, selling the yen, etc. So, so that's, uh, that's where we're at. I hope that was useful. Watch out for the, uh, for the next video in the series and thank you very much.